So what we've got here, uh, this is the wing of the vehicle, and you'll notice a few things about it. First of all, uh, we've got a wingtip light that tells you kind of where the airplane is so you can see it far off in the distance. This is sort of an interesting feature that you don't see on most airplanes. These are actually bumper strips like you would have on the door of your car. Right. So that when the wings are folded up against the side of the aircraft, if you're parked in a parking lot somewhere and somebody slams open their car door into the side of your wing, it's not going to do any damage. If I were to do that, what I just did to an aluminum skinned airplane, I would have made a big dent right. in the airplane. But we've got extra reinforcement built in in that location. And, and what is this made out of? This is made out of a material called carbon fiber, which is incredibly strong, very lightweight. Uh, uh, and really is one of the key enabling technologies for bringing a product like this to the marketplace, keeping the weight down. Oh, and actually, how, um, what is the weight limit on this vehicle or That's, airplane? What do I call it? Vehicle or airplane? <laughs> we, we call it an aircraft, yeah. Okay, an aircraft. Yeah, um, the, uh, the weight limit for the light sport aircraft category is 1,320 pounds. So it's a very lightweight vehicle compared to any car out on the road. And uh, that's why carbon fiber is such an important part of making this technology work. So we have to get it underneath that weight limit. So we're uh, making all these things out of carbon fiber. You also notice that we've got these, this thing here. This is actually one of the locks that holds the wing out in place so that when the vehicle is flying, you notice I've got a very rigid wing here. And I can, I can move the entire vehicle. Yeah, and that's what these control surfaces do. The aileron here pushes the wing down and lets you turn the plane. And then this is exactly where it folds up and then this folds up? On yeah, exactly. So the root there folds up like this and the wings kind of come together like that. So in order to convert the vehicle from flying to driving, you've got to do a few things. You've got to be stopped on the ground and shut down your engine. Then you have to switch your master switch over to a wing folding mode. Then enter in a personal identification number on a keypad, which gives you kind of an extra level of security. Once you do that, you can unlock the wings manually and push the buttons, fold them up. Once they're folded up like this, start up the engine again, drive to wherever you want to go. You don't even have to get out of the vehicle. All right, so it's the same procedure for extending the wings. You've got to be stopped on the ground, shut down your engine. Once you uh, punch in your personal identification number, move the handle to unlock the wings, and then deploy the wings with these two toggle switches. Clear. Once the wings are fully extended into place, move that locking handle forward and get out, check to make sure that everything's locked. Just give it a little tug, make sure everything's flush. Once it's flush, you've got a rigid wing. But yeah, so when you're walking around, after you kind of get out to the airport and you extend your wings into position, you need to do what's called a pre-flight check, which is just walking around the vehicle and making sure that everything's locked in place. before you go on the road also. That's what drivers you should. manual say. You should, you should. Drivers tend not to do it. Pilots, though, do it all do the time. It, yeah. Because it's a very different thing. You want to make sure that your vehicle's really airworthy. And so this is one of the things that you would check. Just make sure that that's flush with the skin. If it is, it's locked. It's that simple. So, sure. No, a normal driver's license and a light sport pilot's license. Um, so this is one of our vertical stabilizers here, and we've got our sponsors on the vertical stab. Um, it's also all made out of carbon fiber here. This is one of our rudders here. This controls the yaw of the aircraft. This is our elevator. Controls the pitch of the aircraft, nose up, nose down. Um, Moving towards the back here, we've got the propeller. The propeller. What is the propeller made out of? The propeller is also carbon fiber. Um, this, you can see a little bit more of the weave. We don't have it painted. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Uh, Important car to make it lighter. Exactly. Yeah. So that that's all carbon fiber, visible. Um, and when you're when you're flying, that's engaged directly to the engine through a carbon fiber drive shaft. Um, the engine's way up in the front of the vehicle and this is just driven straight from that engine through the carbon fiber drive shaft. On the ground, this is disengaged. 
So this is not connected to the engine. You're not being pushed by the propeller on the ground. It's front wheel drive on the ground. And when you're on the ground, is this in a locked position so it doesn't move? Yeah, uh, which is something that actually we've been debating about. Um, it's not locked on this one because actually locking it in place reduces your fuel efficiency because it creates more drag. Yeah, how much? By and how much a lot? No, not, not too much, not too much. But um, oh, wait, what is the, uh, what's the gas mileage that you get on this when you're just driving it on the road? On the road, you're actually going to do better than 30 miles to the gallon. Wow. It's a very lightweight vehicle and has a 100 horsepower engine, so and you actually do very good. And how large is the good. gas tank? 20 gallons. Okay, and then so. when you're in the air, what is the efficiency? You're talking, uh, it depends on the winds, of course, when you're flying, but uh, you're talking 25 to 30 miles to the gallon, depending upon how, how fast you want to fly. That just seems unreasonably good to me. Well, it's it's a very lightweight vehicle and a, a small engine, so uh, but it's plenty of power to power such a lightweight aircraft.